Oh, let go. You want me to let go of you. Why would I ever do such a thing? In fact, your incessant asking of me to let you go makes me just want to squeeze tighter. Oh, I love seeing your skin grow flush, warmer, as I just pull a little tighter on my coils around you. Look at your sweet cheeks, perfectly red, and your eyes. They're always intoxicating to look at, but now they're positively bloodshot. You can still breathe. Every time you breathe out, and I coil tighter, it makes it harder for the air to get in, but I know when too much is too much. After all, I can feel your heart beating through my coils. Fine, I'll loosen it up a bit. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, you just get me so worked up. I don't want to hurt you. I love you. I will never let you go. And the goblins, well, they weren't of much help, were they? Not with the curse. You've been cursed, though. We know what it is now. Though I've kissed you, and true love's kiss should be enough to get you to go free, but it doesn't seem to be. That's because I love you, but I'm not the one who's cursed. You don't love me. What happened to you to get you to this point? They... They said that you would have had to have found a, a chimera, a chimera, something that I forget how they said it. I've never seen such a creature or heard of one. We tend to stay away from the winged type of creatures. They tend to hunt our kind, but... You, oh, did you? Interesting. Oh. And she loves you. I have no problem going and finding her and ending her where she stands. She is... What? Oh. Well, that's... a possibility. But... No, I won't let you go to go get it. How can I trust that you will actually be kind and go there in a... We have to learn to trust each other. But we're far way off of that. The goblins said that I will grow mad. That I will try to harm you. But we did get your way of calling the vampires away I wish we still had it so you had a fail safe well no I, I don't want to go to the auction I I don't want to go to reprogramming or whatever but if they can reprogram the monster girls and then they put them up for auction and they're not all still trying to get back to you there's another way to save me then isn't there Okay. Because I don't know how long I can go without your touch. I love to feel your skin around my coils. I love to wrap you tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. Just feeling your body warm mine. It just sends shivers through my veins. It makes my scales sing. I, I absolutely love being around you, my 
darling, I just... <laughs> and thinking about that woman who turned you into this. Had she not done this, and I would be able to just love you like normal. This curse, it's just... What if we just get you to love me? They said I had about a week before I will just be beyond repair. What if we get you to just love me? That's the problem. You never got to the point where you trusted the girls you had to enough to love them back. If you could just love me, tell me, tell me that you love me. No, I mean, mean it, mean it, make me feel it, and, and kiss me back, and then the curse will be broken. That's how you prove it. If you just love me, look at what I've done for you. I don't talk to my sister. I don't have my kingdom. I gave up my duchess status to my people to hunt you down i absolutely lost everything so that i could stop you from what you were doing then i didn't kill you i didn't send you to the monster girl council i didn't do what i set out to do because i fell in love with you i ran away from my sister and i know i can never go back. Did you see the anger in her eyes? The hurt? She was prepared to kill me. She said if I went back and I brought you here and I talked to the goblins and they're not known for being kind to my kind. Not at all. They're known for they're known for hurting my kind. I did it all it all for you and for what so you can sit here wrapped up in my coils not willing to you're right oh no oh oh no oh no you're you're so right it's happening i feel it i feel it this is not me this is not me this is not who i am i was before all of this, I was loving. I. The S's. You're right. I can't even hide who I am anymore. I can't hide what I do. I can't hide. I'm absolutely losing it. I am. Because the thoughts running through my head is it's worth it. You have him. And I know that's crazy. I just met you and I know it's crazy, but I'm... You, the air you breathe out, I want to breathe it in. I know. I know I can't. I know it'd kill me. I know. But if I were to die by something that was inside of you... It's... No. No, you're right. They said to end this curse... We, we have to make a sacrifice. It, you'll continue to do this. Monster girls all around you will fall for you and you're powerless in this. You're right. We have to go back to her, to the chimera. We have to figure out how to get her to lift the curse We have to figure out how to save you. What do you mean, what about me? No, I... Yeah. <laughs> so you can tell when I'm not doing the S's. And I'm not squeezing you so tight. I'm in one of my rare moments. Not madness. But it's going to consume me, and you will not be safe for much longer. So we have to get to her quickly. We have to convince her. Maybe I can help. Maybe if I show her that 
What, what do you mean? She said you're incapable of love. You're not incapable of love. No. No, you're not incapable of love at all. You, you are one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life. You push people off. You cast people aside because you fear that they're going to reject you for you. That's why you left your people and you sought out monster girls. Because we're outcasts of normal society. You said it yourself. We make you feel safer. Because we have a secret to hide. We have to hide from the world as well. I want to hide with you. I want to love you. I want to be yours. And I think she's just looking. She was. She loved you first. No, she loved you first. Look at the curse. If it's true, and she cursed you, it's because she loved you and she felt like you couldn't love her. So she cursed you to have tons of other people love you and chase you off so that you couldn't get wherever you wanted to go. I love you. I will always love you. You're amazing. I'm sure it's the curse that's got me that makes me feel this way, but I think if you could show that you've changed or that you are understand what you do to other people, that you don't want to push everyone away, then maybe we can get the curse lifted. And then you can live a normal life. Then other monster girls don't have to fall. And then, no, you're right. It is far from here. I will probably be consumed by my madness long before you get there, but maybe if we break the spell on you, then I can be saved. And even if I can't, even when I'm completely mad and I'm going nuts, I'm still willing to die for you. You're worth it. You've never had someone in your life tell you you're worth it. And mean it. But I'm here to tell you. Maybe it's just the curse, but if, even before the curse... I always said I would be willing to give my life if it meant bringing the greatest happiness to someone else. What? I'm not a happy person. Everyone that has ever loved me has died. My dad's dead. Most of my family. I don't even talk to my sister. It was a sacrifice, yes. I'll never talk to her again. For you. But we barely talked before then. Everyone that I have ever loved is gone, and I will never see them again, even if they still walk this earth. So if my life was going through Dante's Inferno, every single ring of it, for me to be led to this moment, to be able to give you a chance for something that was never destined to be mine, I'm willing to do. No, don't touch me. I feel it. I feel it raging inside of me again. I feel the thoughts. They're swirling. They're going. I can hear the impulses to strap you up. To ravage you with my hands to hold you down. No. I'm losing it at this moment. I may not be able to make good decisions in the next couple of minutes. And it is not going to be easy for you. I'm going to start moving. I'm going to set my mind to it now so that we'll start moving towards the Outer Lands. We will find this chimera. And either I will have an epic battle to the death of her or we will find a way to get this curse lifted. But you will die an old happy man with someone who loves you. And that someone will be me, darling. <laughs> It'll be me. Oh, it'll be me. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You can't go anywhere. 
here, just right in my coils, all wrapped up and happy. You'll be just fine, my love. Hey guys, Zena Alexander here. Thank you guys. We hit 15,000. And before I could say thank you for 15,000, we're at 15,100. What, what is life? What is life? I want to say a special thank you to all of those who are Platinum member Patreons. Um, I'm going to reach out to everybody individually to ask them if they want to be named um, for that tier. Some have actually one said that they would uh, prefer not to. And I believe in discretion above anything else. Um, cried because I did not think we were going to hit that. <laughs> Um, inspo for this video, sad. Um, I'm probably going to go eight episodes, like maybe you move them to Patreon because I, I try, it sounds bad, but just for YouTube algorithmic reasons, if a video does not do well, then it makes it harder for the next video to do well. So it's not that I don't like some series. It's just that some stuff may have to be moved to Patreon, even if it's not super flirty. Um, just to save the channel, but there's a lot of series that I want to continue doing some stuff on that I'll just make free on Patreon, 100% free. That's right. Um, so make sure you go to the pinned comment below for that. Uh, but inspo, inspo. So for those who may not know, I have done some Yandreish things, which I am in court ordered therapy over. Um, not proud, not proud of them. But um, I will say that there's these like lucid moments you have when you're dealing with severe jealousy issues and early childhood um, abandonment issues as an adult where you really realize that you're wrong and everything's wrong and you want to be better and you're making these commitments to being better. But then you also feel those feelings coming back up. And a lot of people will try to tell you exactly how to handle them. But you know what? It's not that easy. If it was that easy, then I wouldn't be in court or therapy. I've been in therapy for two years. Honestly, like almost 360, like not in the hour 180, um, not in day how I act anymore. And uh, again, no unsolicited advice needed, promise. Um, but yeah, so it's it's just, and I still feel those those twinges of like um, some of those feelings coming up. Not, I, But it's hard. Like it's so funny. I get jealous not just over like partners, but over different situations. Um, and it can be difficult to, to grapple with. And you have those moments where you're like, okay, let me set myself up so it won't be so bad, if that makes any sense. So I thought it would be an interesting story arc to add this in here where she feels like she's going to the point of no return. And she's realizing that the cycling is happening faster and faster and faster and she doesn't have as much control. Um, also, like legit do you steal this is a current thing i am grappling with but i'm fine no unsolicited advice needed um i frequently feel like i've been through dante's inferno and um would absolutely lay down my life so that someone else could be happy like some people's lives are to do great things and some people's lives are to be support characters to help them get there um so there's quite a few people in my life that i'd be willing to kind of ride or die for um and with the latter being the more the more expressive one in this case so that they could go on to do the things I think that they were meant to do because I'm not necessarily sure that I'd nothing in my life I'm ever going to do is life changing <laughs> um I don't have those kinds of aspirations or abilities or whatever but anywho I love you guys to death I know this is kind of a donor one but I'm kind of interested in how this series is gonna go so I'll see you guys in the next one werewolf tomorrow bye guys